Mike the Truth Jackson here, SEC3. I'm here with tonight's winner, Mr. Cody Garza. Wow. That was actually a solid fight, man, between you and, uh, I can't, what was the other guy's name? George Birchfield. George Birchfield. Now, I heard, I, I didn't know too much about it, either one of you guys. Uh, coming in tonight, someone said, man, there are two fourth degree black belts fighting in karate. Or black belt, fourth degree black, karate black belts fighting tonight. And I immediately, my light went off. I got a little chub there for a second. I was like, wow, this is possibly be fighting tonight. Um, I actually heard that you guys sparred before, I guess, in a karate tournament? I thought I know. Oh, I heard. I thought I heard. I was about to say, who won in that? The karate tournament. <laughs> um, you're taking on George Birchfield. What was your game plan, knowing that he he had the same skill sets as you? Well, he's a I think five time national champion in taekwondo, so I knew he was going to have really good kicks, and I respected that. So uh, the game plan was to keep the center of the stage, uh, keep the center of the ring, and not let him control the fight, which keep him backing up. Uh, that's kind of what I did. You know, it was kind of a. Uh, I wish it was a little more eventful with the hands, but. I just tried to keep him backing up the whole time, and it seemed to work out. So, man, yeah, like the kicks were coming. I, I saw both of you guys. You were throwing the, some lovely. I mean, it was the beautiful kicks. I saw some, uh, some. I almost thought I saw an axe kick and you know low push kicks. All kinds of kicks. Uh, but what, what got my attention was when y'all started throwing those hands. I mean, once you start putting the combos together with the hands and feet, that's when the excitement hit. Uh, at any point did you feel that you you rocked George with the strikes? There was a couple times I felt like I got him with a really good uh, right hand, backed him up a little bit, had him stumbling, but uh, he would just keep bringing that leg up every right. time I come in. I didn't want to take that side. Yeah, so I was about to ask, what's the reason for it? Because I saw you come in with some solid strikes, and then you just stopped. So was it the sidekick that was kind of preventing that? Yeah, I, I injured my rib a few weeks ago, and uh, just really worried to take a rib shot. So every time I raised that sidekick, I that's the first thing that in my head, and uh, I just tried to keep him off of that. So yeah, that's kind of why. I wish I wouldn't have. If I could do it again, I would have probably kept, kept on him, take him to the ground. But, uh, oh, take him to the ground? Who would have thought we'd have heard that in that fight? <laughs> now, how's your game ground or ground game? It's all right. I worked a lot on it in case I needed it tonight. In case he was out kicking me, I was ready to take him to the ground. Oh, nice. Nah, yeah. Grind him, but I didn't feel like I ever needed to. So. Very smart. That, that's the true uh, mixed martial arts right there. Uh, so you got the win over George. What's next for you, Cody? Uh, my wife is pregnant with uh, my first son. Oh, uh, nice. Congrats. I hope it's the same, but uh, either way, I'll be happy. But that's what I'm going from here. We'll kind of reevaluate, talk to the coaches, talk to her, and see where I'm going from here as far as today. Man, congratulations on the on the birth of your first child. Congratulations on you winning tonight. Thank you, sir.